Roblox games have evolved a long way since Roblox's inception 16 years ago, with many of its earliest games being left in their respective eras, mostly forgotten. Some games haven't, however, refusing to die out after years of existing. I already made a video covering four of these in May of 2022, however, there are many more that I think need to be highlighted. To celebrate part one being one of my most popular videos to date, here is Roblox Games That Refuse to Die Part 2. By far, this game has the least average active players out of any game on the list, but it deserves some mention as it has been actively played in some way since July 2006, before Roblox was even deemed released. Whether it be the original place now hosted on the official Roblox staff account, or its inclusion as a map in many Roblox games in recent times, Crossroads is still alive and well when it comes to Roblox games. There is yet to be a time in Roblox's history where this game has really been totally inactive. The game is very easy to learn being a simple brick battle game on a map of four corners with the thieves den in the top left the Lost Temple in the top right, the Black Rock Castle in the bottom right, and this section with a tower, trampoline, and bridge in the bottom left of the map. Each player is given a set of six tools, and your main goal is to just fight to survive. While multiplayer functionality on Roblox games was first being introduced and tested by Roblox staff in the summer of 2006, Crossroads was the first to be given multiplayer servers of its own, before user-made games could be multiplayer too, meaning it quite literally is one of the longest surviving Roblox Roblox games. The Underground War was a PvP-based game created by Stickmaster Luke, who you may also know for creating Natural Disaster Survival, and is apparently really good at creating memorable and simple Roblox games. The Underground War is a capture the flag styled game on a map with an underground tunnel system dug by players on one of two teams, the red or blue team. The game's play says that the game was created in February 2008, but the play slot was held up by a different game named Boat Wars until January of 2009 when the Underground War was released and took its place. The original upload of the game has over 25 million visits and is currently broken, but remakes and remasters have sprung up over the last four years that kept the game alive having thousands of players active daily and over 300 million visits. Person 299's Minigames is a classic take on the minigame genre of Roblox games created at an unknown date in 2009. While not the first minigames placed on Roblox, this game was very popular in the era of its creation and is iconic to many older players with over 30 million visits. Much like the Underground War, this game is played on various recreations and remakes rather than the original, as the original version hasn't been updated in 3 years. Custom Minigames, for example, is relatively active receiving active moderate player counts even early in the morning on school nights. Flood Escape is an obby styled Roblox game that was created by Crazy Blocks in 2010. The game focuses on you and other players from the server escaping various facilities while they are flooding, pressing buttons to unlock doors and create new paths to escape. The game has been massively popular, receiving over half a billion visits since. About a year ago, however, the game stopped receiving updates as Flood Escape 2 was being worked on instead. Even though the game is 12 years old now, hundreds of users still play the game every day. How's it going there? Real life Peter Griffin here. I'm telling you to subscribe to Toasted Cherries. Freaking sweet. <laughs> Speedrun 4, a fan-made sequel to an unofficial series of Roblox obby games all about going fast in a variety of levels and getting to the end of each, was created in 2014 by Roblox developer Verse and has garnered over a billion visits since. Unlike some of the other games on the list which are broken to an unplayable degree nowadays, this game has been updated regularly since and still gets thousands of players daily. The original speedrun was created in April 2014, just months earlier, by a user named Lol Bunny face and only has 11 million visits as it never really took off to the degree that speedrun 4 did. 
Survive the Disasters is a game that was created by Virus, at the time known as the Furry Fox, in November of 2009. The game also has a pretty simple concept, find a way to survive the multitude of random disasters that'll happen, whether it be a black hole that sucks up everything, a sword that will kill everyone if someone touches it, oh that's a evil orange bro, or whatever else the game has to offer. This game is also nostalgic for me to talk about since it was one of the first Roblox games I ever played, as if you were active on Roblox at all from about 2010 to 2014, you had to have seen this game on the front page at least once. This game still gets a few hundred players every day, even after 13 years. Cole's Admin House by AGSPRIAN is by far the simplest game on the list, but has had a lot of history and exploits surrounding it over the years. The game consists of beating a short obby so that you could get access to admin powers in the happy home of Robloxia House. The game has a long history of issues revolving around exploiters, such as the time in 2020, when the game was unplayable because people could enter the game and shut down the servers themselves, and the multiple instances in 2022 when people would redirect players of Cold's admin house to Crosswood servers to get their accounts banned. Despite its issues, age, and simplicity, the game still has an active player base and has over 270 million visits as of 2022. <laughs>